showtime. We're going to be trying this soup. It's all done, and I've shown you guys close up. So, babe, take your spoon. It's a privilege to be tasting this. It's a privilege. <laughs> For the first time, tell me, really, you have to be honest, though. Ah. With lemongrass. Have you tried preparation with lemongrass? No. It's very nice. It gives you like this minty, almost like minty. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> it's very, very nice. You need to try this. My name is Lade and Welcome this is Juwon, our, our channel. I hope you are staying safe and you are staying home. Stay safe and stay home. Yes. Please, I hope you are. I'm actually going to cook and I want you to cook with me. What am I cooking today? I'm going to be making some fish pepper soup, okay? Oh shit. <laughs> I just brought out the fish from the freezer. I like to have it fresh. It's a few days old but we are on lockdown so we have things in the freezer, okay? Um, oh yeah, say hi. Hi. Hey, come on, you can't see me. Hey, guys. Welcome. Zoe is watching TV. I'm sure you see her when the pepper soup is ready. So and hi, this man is always in the kitchen. Always. Hi. She's always hi, here. So thank you so much for joining us today for this cook with me. I'm about to start. Um, it's catfish pepper soup again. And um, please hang around. The video is not going to be too long because it's very straight to the point. Give this video a thumbs up. Let me get the ingredients ready and you'll see me very soon. Very soon. Okay, guys. So, we just finished prepping the ingredients. And this is what I used to pound the pepper that I'm going to be using. I also pounded the ginger and garlic. So, this is not your regular pepper soup. We're going to be using catfish. And yes, this is how I'm going to be showing you the ingredients. This is catfish. And it was washed properly with hot water. And we preserved it in the freezer. So we've taken it out. It's still not iced, but really cold. We've washed it down, and now it's ready to be used. So I'm using catfish for this pepper soup. I'm also going to be using. See, some of my ingredients might surprise you, but just take it like that. Onions. This one is no surprise, and I've cut it in big cubes on purpose because I want kind of a crunch like i want to see the onions i don't want them to disappear it's not going to be a crunch but at least it will be, to be there and to be eatable i don't know if that makes sense i really love onions and then of course i have scotch bonnets and then some chilies that's shombo or bawa that's what's in here here and then beside it here is a little rough is ginger and garlic pounded even the scotch bonnet is pounded very roughly but that's what i have in here and then for vegetables this is going to be strange to some of you i have um lemongrass i'm going to be using lemongrass for this pepper soup because I, i've had lemongrass at home i want to make some tea with it some natural tea where i boil it with some lemon some ginger um and then i use a little honey when i give my family to drink of course we strain it but this is lemongrass and i love the minty effect is going to have on this pepper soup i've had lemongrass in soups before thai soups and thai restaurants and all of those so i want to try this my first time putting lemongrass in pepper soup but we'll see how it goes so this is the lemongrass yeah and this is a fairy scent leaf i'm going to be using this as well in the pepper soup then for seasoning very simply i'm going to be using salt bouillon cube these are crayfish bouillon cubes and then pepper soup seasoning so what we have now is just a clean pot on the stove and we've put some water in it and um, we're going to start to make the stock before we put the fish in so let's get cooking i've started i'm starting off with a pot of hot water the water is not boiling yet and that's fine and i want to make the stock so i'm going to put in the bouillon powder We're making the stock. I'm going to put in some salt. I'm not going to put too much at this point because I'll taste, but I don't want it to be too salty. And then I'm going to put the pepper soup seasoning. Okay, and because I want this stock to brew well, 
I'm going to add the pepper. So there's pepper and then there's ginger and garlic. So this is the pepper, it's roughly blended. I actually pounded this one. And this is ginger and garlic, also pounded. That's why it's a little pink, because it was in the same mortar. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm creating the stock for the pepper soup. And this is contrary to what a lot of people do. A lot of people put the vegetables last. That's the aphiri. But I'm putting them now because I want them to get into that stock. I'm putting the lemongrass now. In Yoruba, we call lemongrass a wet tea. And I'm putting half of the ephemery I'm supposed to be using. This is the other half. I'll put it later. I want this juice to get... Look at the juice. It's juice and it's also stock. I want it to get really... Real... Cooking real good. And this is the onion. I'm not putting everything because I'm putting it last. I'm just going to put just a little bit. Just a little bit of the onions. Once I bring it to a boil, then I'll be ready to add the fish. So, let's bring it to a boil and then add the fish. It's boiling, oh. It's boiling, oh. It's boiling, oh. And I'm just going to taste now to make sure everything is fine. Mm. It needs a little more salt, so I'm just going to put in the rest of what I have in this thing. Okay. Oh my god, the lemongrass tastes good. This is my first time putting lemongrass in pepper soup. Tastes amazing. So now I'm going to just put the fish in. My hands are clean, don't worry. I'm going to put the fish in. I'm going to allow it cook. I'm going to allow it do its thing. And then it should be ready, ready, ready for real. <laughs> and what I'm doing now is just kind of keeping a mental note of where everything is in this pot. So that when it's time to serve, I don't scatter the fish. So I have one head over there. Okay. Yes, now I know where my things are. And it will not be difficult to get them out once the soup is ready. Yes. So I'll cover and allow it to boil. Once I bring it to a boil again, I'm going to be adding the leftover ephemer and the leftover onions and then I'll be done. So guys, hey, hey our beautiful pot has been boiling. And at this point, we can say that our pepper soup is not ready but almost ready i just told my my husband that i put he was not here when i was showing the ingredients i told him that i put lemongrass and he was like what what and then i started again but no it's really nice guys hmm. if you've tried any thai soup that had lemongrass please leave me a comment because my husband doesn't believe me um i'm adding the rest of the onions now and the rest, bless you. And the rest of the, we'll put the pepper in the freezer, but I'm just going to take some more and put in there. Yeah. Yeah, we want it spicy. We want it spicy. Zoe says spicy. We want it spicy. So, guys, this is it. I'm going to let it stay for another minute or two and i'm going to let it simmer please pardon the noise that's the way and safi i'm sure letting it simmer letting food simmer means that once you've turned off the heat once you turn off the heat you're going to allow whatever meal that you have cooked to rest it will enter a state of rest and when it rests then all those um active ingredients in the soup that's been boiling and trying to let out their juice and all of that They'll have enough time to just relax and that's when you can really get the gist for, that's be, for best results okay if you serve it hot right now you would not you will not be able to compare it with somebody who eats it i mean just maybe in the next 10 minutes there's going to be a difference and so that's what's going to happen so right now i'm going to turn it off i have turned it off and i'm going to just let it be i'm going to just let it be I'll cover it. I wanted to open it a little bit, but let me cover it. 
I'll just let it be and in about a minute we'll serve and then we'll eat people of God the simmering has happened and now I want to serve the simmering has happened and I want to serve I'm only serving just a little portion because I don't think everybody else is ready to eat dinner look at how gorgeous this is when you add the soup and I'm going to add the vegetables as well you're not supposed to eat this lemongrass but it's nice it's a nice addition look at how gorgeous my people look at how gorgeous look at the onions look at how gorgeous so oh god this is it so um this is my plate but this is amazing guys look so beautiful i'll tell you how it tastes so showtime we're going to be trying this soup it's all done and i've shown you guys close up so babe take your spoon yes. It's a privilege to be tasting this. It's a privilege. Yeah. For the first time, tell me really, you have to be honest though. Ah. With lemongrass. Have you tried pepper with lemongrass? No. Very nice. It gives you like this minty, almost like minty. Mm. It's very, very nice. You need to try this. Stay home, oh. stay home and make pepper soup. Stay home and cook with me. If you don't have the ingredients for this yet, you can wait until after the lockdown before you get it. But try and make it when you can. Mm. The lemongrass in there makes such a big difference. And then the onions, like, look, I need to bite into that onion. Mm. The pepper is not, it's not, it's not enough. The pepper is not enough. And you can see how much pepper I added there. Zoe, come and say bye. Zoe and Safi are playing. Come. You want to show your Safi? Oh, Safi? Anywhere there's food, you will see Safi. So come and say bye, guys. Subscribe. Bye. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Um, most importantly, don't forget to stay home and stay safe. Look who's here. Look who's here. No pepper soup for you. Come on. Special thanks to everyone who joined on the premiere of this video. I really appreciate you guys. Please feel free to try out this recipe and any of my recipes and tag me on Instagram. My handle is on the screen. Um, until next time, be the best version of you. Bye.